What's goody? What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another video. So today we got the Lucky Penny all loaded up on the trailer. We are heading over to Indianapolis Streetcar Takeover and Bandamere Streetcar Takeover. So that's the two events that we're gonna be hitting. So the reason I haven't made you no know, videos and I've been out of commission is because our diff had flexed up to the point where we had to our uh, boom fabrication. They welded a diff mount or um, they welded a bar going straight from our roll cage to the mount, to the uh, diff itself. Uh, hopefully that can hold us. Um, haven't had that problem yet. So that's one fix that we had to do. And we also have slicks on the car now. So we got a lot to work with uh, when we go to Indiana. So probably won't run fast times because we got two elements that we just haven't had an issue with the car or haven't had on the car. So right now we're waiting for Paige. We're just gonna sit here and we're gonna wait for her. So check it out. Got blue tape on the front of the ram just to protect it from like most of the rocks that we're gonna encounter on this 21 hour drive. Yeah, it's 20, 21 to 22 hours driving probably take like an hour break or something I don't know we'll see but hopefully the trailer does good and everything does good and we can get there in one piece so like I said we're just waiting for Paige once she get here get back with y'all all right so we filled up $99 now I'm gonna add some death Paige wants to take some pictures got a tank in the back looking scared out his life so let's see how many miles per gallon we can get in this truck This is our day long road trip. This is like my fourth time going back home. Driving, I think. Yeah. But like in total, like at the drive back. So it's probably like more like eight. But um, this is Shaq's second time. Uh, it's not bad with two of us. Last year on our way back home was really bad because we bought the Ford and it was horrible. Like we had to drive separate, so it was it was pretty bad. So our first stop, Amarillo, Texas. We're at Burger King. Um, the truck actually got some good mileage. I'll be honest with you. 17 miles a gallon. Get it to cut on. So the truck got, it averaged 18 miles a gallon pulling, pulling the Honda. That's actually not bad, it's really good. Um, we have to stop and give Tank some water as well and let him poop, so. He's good. So he's all good to go. Turn that down before I get monetized, but. Yeah, we got 18 miles a gallon. Uh, I don't know how long the trip was, let me see. So for a three hour, 42 three hours and 42 minutes 18 miles a gallon for 274 miles pulling the trailer that's really good so we're gonna try to grab some grub then i got another like two hours to drive before i swap a page so it's actually really good let's turn the truck off uh let me open this door for tank or this window for tank So open that up for tank. But yeah, we're gonna grab some food. She grabbed another battery for the GoPro. So far we're in Amarillo, Texas. So next stop will be Oklahoma. Oklahoma City. Was it Oklahoma City? What is it? Oklahoma? Okay, see. That'll be the next stop. So let's go get some food. Oh man. This just drove 10 hours straight, bro. It's three in the morning can you see that it's three in the morning just drove 10 hours straight page is knocked out tank is knocked out got 13 more hours to go uh it's been raining this is the third stop uh since we've been on the road it's been raining like all hell so i couldn't even record the last stop because it was raining bad but now it's officially 
not raining, so I recorded this one. We're in, um, what, Oklahoma? Yeah, we're in Oklahoma. So, get the truck all filled up. Then I record the next stop. I am tired, so I'm about to wait Paige up. She's about to start driving because the boy is tired. But let's check out the tape on the front. Tape on the front still protecting the truck. It's all messed up because of the wind and the water and all that. But I should have put it right here too. It looks good so far. Just masking tape just to stop the rock chips. I should have covered up all this too. So, but catch y'all when we get to the next stop dead what's up everybody we're out here in missouri it is super humid kind of cloudy uh shaq's sleeping uh he drove all night he's just to wake me up but it's fine don't eat the grass Tank's over here I'm trying to go to the bathroom you done but we're almost in St. Louis, like not even that far. So a couple more hours. I think we'll be, I haven't checked, but we're expecting to be there around like one. So making good timing. Yesterday we made it to my home. What time, babe? Like two, two in the afternoon. And I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we made it to CC at two. And um, of course, didn't really record when we got home because I was just excited to see my family. And they wanted to see me and Shaq, so... But anyways, yesterday, when we got there, <clears throat> Shaq wanted to obviously take the Honda out, give it a little test hit, because now we're, like, literally sea level. Damn near below sea level up here, but... Um, found out he had an issue with his diff, and that thing is screaming so loud, I thought I was gonna die sitting passenger seat. But yeah, so, uh, shocker, guess where we're at? Say hi, babe. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like every year since Shaq's came to Indiana, we somehow always end at the junkyard. You okay? Um, but yeah, we're here. And luckily, as Shaq says, this junkyard is clutch because people don't be taking parts like we do in Albuquerque so I don't know where he's going but yeah look we got they got this shit like fixing off beautifully we got two Honda elements Shaq's gonna probably take both diffs to be smarter as long as they don't charge us an arm and a leg which I don't see them but yeah something to lay on real quick but yeah I was right. It says 80 degrees, but real fill feels like 87. Is this humidity? Let me see what it's at. This one like a 14. What the fuck? You need what? You want the 
in fact. No. I need some fucking strength. That's what I need. You strong, baby. Building cars is different from working out in the gym. It's harder by far. This is some sketchy ass shit. Totally in the back right there. Oh my god. From mom. Some shit she'd put on her car. Is it not moving at all? No, these bitches are rusted. There you go. Damn. <sighs> the wrench. Huh? Where? Oh. That goes back on that side. Oh. The bolt on the same side. Oh, you got your last one. Well, guys, we did it. Man, we could have got both, but we ran out of time. Yeah, we ran out of time. Well, we're lucky these guys are at least open today because everything else is closed on Sundays, but. Let me hit the bait. Um, but yeah, we're here. We got it. Uh, oh, yeah, we also forgot that the Midwest likes to rust. So we didn't bring it. Yeah, we didn't bring the impact in with us like an idiot. We gotta go this way. This way. And so, yeah, we were literally fighting a rusty bolt. That was it. And then the axles, but luckily we had a crowbar, so. Yeah. But look, here she is. I told you guys, go buy one. Nobody uses those for you. He swore by it and he was right. And if this one gives us problems or whatever, then, well, we know we got a whole nother one untouched. This junkyard. Yeah. Well, guys, oh. we paid. Now we're going to my brother's um, LKQ, LQK, or whatever it is. They kind of ripped us a new asshole. But I don't know. That should have been like 80 bucks. Man, paid like. Me. Yeah, they originally charged us 145 but military thank discount. God they at least had military discount, so we got a little bit off for that. So we paid 124 so I don't know. They didn't actually have anything listed in there for a diff in their system or whatever. They had differential parts, and that's where we're like, or differential, my bad, parts, but they didn't have anything else. Like... Yeah, they didn't have the diff labeled as a diff. Like, I'm like, y'all have a bunch of cars with differentials in them. Why don't y'all have it as diff? Not axle carrier. Like, yeah. But now, it's fine. We got it. That's the only thing we really cared about as long as we got a new one. No, um, the first price he tried to charge me was like 200 some dollars. And I was like, whoa. I was like, this ain't worth 200 some dollars, my boy. Like, he was trying to say it didn't match with. Like, this was it had nothing to do with the transmission. I was like, I ain't paid more than 80 bucks for one of these in all the pull uh junkyards I've been to, bro. Like, I was like, this shouldn't it shouldn't be 150. And then he fucking started looking around, couldn't find different. I'm like, y'all need to put that in y'all system. It's a differential. I was like, you pull has a differential, like, place. They have a you pull in Indianapolis. I wish we just went over, I wish we could have went over there, but yeah, it is what it is. I'll pay.
pay I'll pay the extra forty. I had to buy it anyway. It's not like I can just skip out on it. So. That is now true. Now I gotta try to find like some rubber fucking spacers. Yeah. To put it in between my diff and the plate. Well, we're going to my brother, so he's a car guy as well, more like a truck guy, but he's not no dummy. So. Not no dummy. He ain't no dummy. So he's gonna. I'm sure he'll give Shaq something. I'm almost at forty thousand on a truck too. Miles. How do you feel about that? Throw it a birthday party. Invite all the other trucks. All right, guys. So we made it to Indiana. We're here officially out here. So I took the car off the trailer to try to give it you know, a little test or get some data on the car. And when I did, the diff started making so much noise. Like it was bad, man. Like been playing with the play between the tires just to check and see if like anything feels weird it feels like it's missing some teeth so we are we already went to the junkyard y'all saw Paige uh recorded us at the junkyard and we got a new diff from a 2004 element so this is the same diff that's in the 98 to uh 2001 crv uh if you get a 2002 through 2006 the same exact diff i broke it apart just to make sure it's not the um ramp style it's the non-ramp style so we already took it apart. We already took all the plates out. As you can see, we took all the plates out. Well, now, right now, we're trying to get my diff out of the car. So when I take that diff out, I'll be able to get this one in. So let's get this one out and let's try to work and see what we got going on. So we got the new one on the new one all put together this is the brand new one uh one thing i didn't put in here i didn't put my like existing like pre-made lsd that we made i didn't put that in there i wanted to just keep it 100 percent as is but we got it 100 percent sealed up and everything as you can see the gasket maker we're gonna let it set overnight but everything else is all good to go so uh we just need to get that in the car, bolt it down, and hopefully it's not making the same noise of doing the same thing that it was doing. So do that tomorrow. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.